Well, here it is, fully complete in the new enclosure. It's pretty schmick. I haven't got any of the alignment pins that make sure the top doesn't just slide off, but um, yeah. Um, so, notable changes. It's all now homing with the uh, Hall effect sensors on both axes. Uh, it's no longer in the uh, rubbish old hexagonal uh, melamine one. Hexagonal? Octagonal. Um, and I put a layer of felt down underneath the sand, uh, the baking soda sand. And I think that was a terrible idea. Um, so it definitely made the ball roll much more smoothly. Makes, uh, doesn't make that crunching noise anymore. Uh, it was a pretty faint noise, but yeah, it's noticeable. Um, but you might be able to see that the felt uh, is all scungulated and poking up through the the sand. Um, it's 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 worse uh, where the ball has been rolling around a lot. Um, so if I sort of dig aside a bit of sand here, you can see the black felt underneath. Um, yeah, it seems to it, well, little black tufts have sort of polluted the sand. Um, maybe if I'd used white felt, this wouldn't be as noticeable. Um, but as it stands, um, it causes more problems than it solves. Uh, it sort of it's sort of uh, ruined the the aesthetic of the nice, pristine, pure whiteness of it, um, which is a big part of the aesthetics, uh, I reckon. Um, the other effect it's had is that it's made the ball further from the magnets. So the, um, sometimes the magnet loses grip on the ball and the ball gets left behind. It usually picks it up when the magnet passes back past where the ball was, um, but not always. Um, so you see underneath there, I've just drilled a hole and had the, the serial cables and the power going in there. Um, so yeah, maybe on the next one I'll use a thinner white felt as opposed to like I think it's about a like a two mil black felt. Um, but yeah, so let's have a look under the hood. This just lifts off. I'll pop that over here. So here's the guts of it underneath. So you'll see the circuit board is just unceremoniously jammed in there. Um, fortunately, it, it it clears the steppers. Um, so, um, I've clipped this arm a little bit shorter, um, such that when it's fully extended it, it just brushes the outside. Uh, that does mean that these two arms are different lengths, um, which has an unexpected effect. Like I, I wrote the code to be able to handle any length of arm, but I didn't account for there being mechanical singularities in where the, uh, the magnet can reach when the arms aren't the same length. Because if you think about it, <clears throat> if the arms aren't exactly the same length, which these ones aren't, um, then it can never get back to centre. So while it is, in terms of the kinematics and the maths and everything, possible to have two arms with different lengths, uh, if that's the case, you can't reach centre. Um, so these two arms are going to be... Gonna, I'm going to rebuild these to be the same length, and I'm going to have to either use a different belt or adjust the diameter of this pulley to soak up the excess uh, belt length to make this arm a bit shorter and this arm a bit longer, so they they both line up. Um, but otherwise, arm. <laughs> um, so other stuff that I've done, uh, you can see I've just temporarily hot glued, with my sparkly hot glue, the Hall Effect sensors there. So I'll show you what a homing process looks like now. If I can plug this barrel connector in one-handed. So it starts here. Arm one does a full rotation back to its starting point and then goes to the home, like right above the sensor. Uh, arm two does the same. And then it goes back to zero degrees, which is dead center. So, did a pretty precise job of that. I'm quite happy with how that works. Um, so what other changes have I made? Um, so arm one here is thicker now and has two bolts. I I think I'm going to give up on the belt ten on the dynamic belt tensioning thing. I think in terms of the amount of complexity it adds, the payoff is minimal. Uh, this works well enough, I feel. 
Uh, maybe I'll revisit that in the future, maybe I won't, who knows. Um, so other things I want to solve, uh, there's a fair bit of backlash in ARM2. You see I'm just sort of tapping that with my fingies and it's able to swing you know, maybe five degrees back and forth with no um, impediment. And that's due to a stack up of tolerances in the pin that holds this, let me just pop that off. So there's a pin through the shaft there that pins this onto there. And that pin is thinner than that slot. So it's got a bit of slop in there. I'm not going to be able to clock that on, am I? It's got a bit of slop in there with that fitting to the shaft there. And then the exact same situation exists for that one with the pin to the shaft. Um, so the solution to that is to make that slot the same size as the pin. Or maybe just put a little bend in the pin. Um, so it sort of snugs itself into that slot there and is actively sort of centering itself. Not, not centering itself, but actively holding itself uh, locked to the shaft. Um, but that's not a big problem. Um, there's, the arm one is directly driven off the stepper. There's no intermediate pins or anything, so the, it, it's, it's bang on. Um, the backlash in arm one is only really a problem where you've got patterns that have rapid back and forth wiggles in that axis so there's one pattern that goes like um, it does sort of a wave around the center and that backlash is exacerbated by this pattern because it doesn't swing as far it just sort of does little limp wiggles back and forth as opposed to doing the full cool circular pattern but um, yeah making good progress um, I'm thinking you know for the felt business I might try no felt for now but if I want to have the thicker felt if it's necessary to have the thicker felt I can also always put more powerful magnets in here so these ones I think they're at 10 mil 10 by 2 10 by 3 something like that stacked up um, so I can put a bigger disc magnet in there that'll have a stronger field and hold on to the, the ball more strongly. I can also put in a bigger ball if I want to. I've got some uh, mouse balls here from an ancient mouse. Don't know where I collected these. Anyway, got options. But yeah, big success. I'm quite happy with the progress. Um, so next up is going to be uh, version 1.1 of the PCB that has my bodges um, built into the actual design. I want to try the new silent step sticks, uh, stepper drivers I've got there. The new version of the PCB has all the configuration pins of those broken out, uh, controllable through software. Uh, so we should be able to play around with a lot of cool silent step settings. And yeah, other rats and mice. But um, yeah, going well. Okay, bye.